The home is located at 5937 Seabird Drive South in Gulfport, Florida. This four bedroom, two and a half bath waterfront home was built in 1988. It's on a cul-de-sac and faces south-southwest with a lot size of 115 by 80. That's 80 feet of waterfront on a seawall on deep water. Tax records say the total square footage is 6794 with 3332 finished and air conditioned and heated and also has 2798 square feet unfinished. The main living area is on the second floor above the unfinished first floor that has four garage doors and can be finished to multiply the living space. Enter into the 14 by 14 foyer and it's open all the way up to the dining room above. At the top of the stairs you find a spacious 18 by 14 dining room and all of the ceilings in the majority of the house are vaulted ceilings just like you see here. To the right of that is a 16 by 12 living room that is set up as a TV theater right now. The living room has 12 foot sliding doors leading to the covered rear porch. Double entry doors to the master bedroom right off the TV viewing area are five foot wide double doors like all four bedrooms in the home. Here's the master bedroom, 14 by 13, with a 9 by 6 foyer and 12 foot ceilings. Off of the master bedroom foyer is an 11 by 6 and a half foot walk-in closet. The 12 foot ceilings in the closet allows for multiple shelving and storage. The 13 by 13 master bath with jacuzzi tub, walk-in shower and his and her sinks also has 12 foot ceilings. Here's a shot from the entry area and this is from the commode looking out. Off of the living room is a bedroom as well. It's right now being used as an office, but this is a 13 by 12 room that could be used as a bedroom, den or office with vaulted ceilings, ceiling fan as well. Now this is the hallway that goes to the west end of the home where you'll find two bedrooms, a full bath and the laundry area. Right in here is the entrance to the kitchen that actually goes from there to the family room and this is an interior staircase that goes down to the unfinished first floor. This is just a small section of a huge area down there. It actually has, as I mentioned, four garage bays, 2,800 square feet roughly, that have 10 foot ceilings. So if you finish this, you'll have 10 foot ceilings in all the rooms down there. Plenty of space to do all kinds of things. Now back up top, this is the bedroom facing the front, 13 by 11. Adjacent to that is a 9 by 10 laundry room that faces front as well. Next to that, there's a second full bath that has pocket doors that separates the sink and vanity in a roughly 5 by 6 room, which is actually angular. And the tub and toilet is in a room roughly 11 by 5. Very, very spacious. The back bedroom is 12 by 13 with that full bath adjacent to it. Here's the kitchen. You notice the center island? large sink with a disposal, then over by the window there's a double sink with a disposal as well. So if you like to entertain, you like to prepare food for parties, this is the perfect kitchen to do exactly that. Here's another angle. You notice the vaulted ceiling, the indirect lighting, there are actually two skylights up there as well. Off of the kitchen is a 20 by 17 family room with a fireplace, totally functional. The family room opens to a deck with safety glass railings rather than balusters, so as you can see, it's very, very open. Here's a view from the seawall at dusk looking up to the house. The seawall is actually below the main deck area by about 40 inches, and then again there's 10 feet from that to the first floor, to the main floor. The square deck section off the family room is 20 by 13. And here's another view of it looking towards the master bedroom. There's a total of 69 feet of deck in the back of the house. It's all made with a composite material. The structure is structural grade aluminum. That center door section that you see in the middle of the, of the shot here actually opens into that living room area or TV viewing area as it's being used right now. And this covered area is just a great place to relax. Those three ceiling fans do a tremendous job. And of course you can also use this section for barbecuing. This is a view from the deck east towards our wide canal. 
The canal is actually so wide that it almost gives you the feeling that you're on a lake rather than on a canal. This is the view east from the pool deck on the 4th of July. Every year at Gulfport puts on a fabulous display and you can hear it and see it right from this vantage point. Just like you're there. Short boat ride and you can actually look at it straight overhead. This is all inside the Pasadena Yacht and Country Club, 6000 Gulfport Boulevard in Gulfport. The Pasadena Yacht and Country Club was established in 1924. It's the cornerstone of this awesome waterfront community and it's really very unique. Guard gate entrance with guards manning the station 24-7 who actually patrol through the neighborhood periodically. There's also a second guard gate at the other side of the properties. And of course the country club has everything. Dining, Olympic pool, pro shop, 18 hole golf course, and of course a marina that has everything. It's a six minute ride to I-275 and about 30 minutes to Tampa International Airport with an exceptional feature. There's no drawbridge between you and the highway, so there's no way that something's going to go up and stop your progress. Google Earth furnishes this overhead picture, and that's the entrance to the guard gate that we just looked at. The second one is off of 59th Street, and the property itself is right here on Seabird Drive. 5937 Seabird Drive South, Gulfport, Florida. That's the home. 